Shalom and warm greetings to one and all. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another episode. Um, today, I just want to uh, tackle the issue of, uh, you know, contradictions in Scripture. You know, I hear that a lot with uh, unbelievers and some some believers, too, have uh, questions and issues with, you know, something, you know, a Scripture might be con contradicts something, another Scripture and another part of the book, you know, and um there's many reasons why this stuff happens, um, and I'm going to explain explain that to you the best of my ability. I wrote a list down, you know, and I'm going to share that with you right now. So, so let's go with it now. Okay, okay. This is uh, solving contradictions. Um, number one, number one reason would be uh, ins you know insufficient research on a subject, you know. There might be, uh, you know, more than one or two scriptures relating to the topic that you're studying. And uh, it's very important that, you know, just because you read one or two, if they, you know, if they go together and the third one conflicts, fourth or, you know, you know, there, there's, you know, there's something wrong. But, you know, you never go to you never go to one verse and, you know, you never go to one verse at all. And say, hey, this don't make sense with uh, another verse that I might have read over here. Or why is this or that, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, you just got to study, you know, study and, pr and pray. Prayer is very important for, you know, prayer for understanding and guidance and, you know, your quest for the knowledge you're looking for. Um, number two is, and it, and it could be an error in translation from the original language. You know, uh, one thing is, you know... Um, a lot of, uh, you know, we don't we don't have an original copy of, you know, like, uh, you know, the Gospels or, you know, Paul's letters or even even on back in the Old Testament. They're copies upon copies upon copies, you know, and um, it's feasible to say that some some people, some people with their own agendas, doctrine agendas or whatever stubbornness might have left something out added something to it or something but that that doesn't make the that doesn't make the the scriptures you know vain or whatever i mean you know yeshua and yahweh they're still making it plain to get the word out even though man might have tampered with the scriptures when he shouldn't have tampered with them and today even today you know certain churches they tamper with scriptures to, to you know blend in with their dogmas their beliefs you know tradition is a hard thing very very hard thing to break and, you know it's you know you're it's like embedded into you you know and after that there's nothing else you there ain't you're not open-minded or nothing you know okay and then uh here's a third one uh an error in the interpretation of the original language so a lot of people you know the bible it interprets itself. The Bible interprets itself, but people don't trust the trust the Bible, so they go ahead and interpret it for it, you know, and they get the wrong answers and they get misled, misguided about it. You, you can't interpret scripture; you got to let the scriptures interpret itself, you know, whatever. Um, and you know, there's always translation problems from one language to another. You know, I mean, one word might not it might be kind of hard to explain it in English words. So I don't know, like. Um, uh, the, the wine, you know, the word, the word for wine, you know, it could mean, you know, fermented or unfermented, but they just put wine. And these days, wine means alcoholic, you know, but back, you know, a long time ago, you know, wine meant fermented or unfermented. It could have been grape juice or, you know, the alcohol content. Uh, but, and here's another one right here. The copy of the original text that is being translated from is in error to or incomplete you know some some of them are incomplete you know i'm sure of it and it's you know it's um and the translate translations are weak you know not up to par but um then you got uh textual errors of course and i'll get get into that um about uh the textual errors a, a little bit of a list here you know but um it could be you know, due to poor scholarship, you know, people that jump in and jump the gun and don't have a, don't have a clue. They met they, you know, they're so focused. They could be so focused on it. They, 
they miss the goal, you know. I don't want to say miss the mark because that's what, you know, sin means to miss the mark. But, you know, um, you know, they, you know, they, they might be really too, too focused on something. Um, but another one, additions or omissions due to private interpretation, which I already, you know, already pressed upon lack of attention to detail. You know, they, you know, they just lack that attention. Um, cause you know, that they got their own ideas, their own definition and mindset about their details, not the scripture details. Um, lack of correct ling linguistic information. You know, it's, they might not be familiar with the word or they might just, uh, you know, look at, look at, look at a word in another language and think it's something else, you know, when it's, it's clearly not, you know, I mean, from a, you know, somebody that speaks a language or a real deep, you know, seated scholar. Um, last one would be a justification by translators for false teaching. And that's, uh, like I, uh, said about, said about that, you know, you know, uh, they want to prove their point about just say the Trinity or the immortality of the soul, you know, the, you know, they're so hell bent on it that they, they will, you know, somehow squeeze it in the scripture or if there's something they don't like, they will take it out, blot it out. And there, there is some, some Bibles out there that, um, take out verses and they actually take out a whole chapter, you know, um, you know, you could say, you know, you, I mean, just for an example, you know, John, you know, chapter two, and then you go to, you, you read and it, it skips and it'll see like John chapter four and you turn the page back, say, Hey, where did three go? You know, it's not in there, but I was, there's, there's a couple of Bibles out there that actually do that. They, they, uh, subtract and take away, take away a verse or even a chapter. Uh, yeah. And that's wrong. That's, you know, uh, Deuteronomy and the uh, book of revelations tells you, you know, it gives you a warning about you do not add or subtract from the the holy holy word you know you don't do that and i'm glad i'm not the people that did that because they're going to have to answer for that and uh i you know i don't wanna, i don't want to be any part of it. i don't want to be i wouldn't i wouldn't i don't feel right about doing that mis, mislead people or anything and you know because that that that's serious repercussions repercussions for the future generations that are actually reading and studying this book you know but um Anyways, I just want to also want to uh, recite some uh, scripture to you. Um, this first one would be uh, John seventeen seventeen, and speaking of the word of Yahweh, Yeshua says, "Your word is truth," and the word is truth, of course. And uh, John ten thirty five says, "And the scripture cannot be broken. The scripture cannot be broken, no matter." If these people try to add and subtract and take stuff away or mistranslations innocently or, you know, purposely, whatever, scripture cannot be broken. It will not be broken. It's for it's for the benefit of humanity, you know. That's that's the book of life. I mean, book of life in a way, I mean the human life right now, right now, not the one in, in the future. But this is it's like a guide. A guide to how proper living and you know, it talks about science it talks about healthy eating it talks about a lot of things and let's see where am i gonna go now i go to I go to uh if you check these verses out hebrew 6 18 and titus uh one one two you know it says uh yahweh inspired the bible to be written and it is impossible for yahweh to lie he, he cannot you know he cannot lie that's one thing he can't do i mean I mean, you know, people say he can, you know, he's all the almighty powerful. He can do anything he wants, which in a way is true, but he won't, he won't lie. You know, he's, he's, he's too righteous, too good for that. He, he will not lie. And, uh, last one I'm going to do is Romans three, four. And it says, Yahweh's word would always be true. Even if every person that wrote it is a liar. That's, uh, that's, uh, not actually the. Uh, scripture, but that's just uh, that's just uh, what it relates to. Just look it up because uh, even if people lie and try to bamboozle other people, you know, you know, it's it's not going to work. You know, you can't, you can't beat the divine one. You can't you can't get around it. You know, and it's the only thing it's going to do is it's going to get you in a lot of trouble. 
And, and like I said, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be in that, in those people's shoes, you know, I mean, it's one thing if you actually somehow make a mistake with a mistranslation or something like that, but, you know, uh, I wouldn't want to, and, I, and, you know, I couldn't do that to my fellow man, I couldn't do that, you know, to the father or son, I could not do that, you know, I mean, I'm not perfect, you know, like I said, you know, I struggle, you know, with sin here and there, and I slip and fall once in a while, just like everybody else, you know, Christians alike, they do the same thing, the true Christians, they, you know, sincerely want to, you know, follow the law and everything, they still slip, but, you know, they get up and just move on and ask for repentance, and they have deep repentance, they really want to repent about it, but um, anyways, I just wanted to, you know, set the record straight there, just, you know, throw something out at you. And uh, please like this video, um, subscribe to it, hit the no notification bells, and you're free to, uh, you know, comment below, you know, have a little discussion, you know, just, we could all learn, learn from each other, and, you know, just be respectful and tolerant and everything, and, you know, it's always good to fellowship, you know, so, with that said, I'm just going to say, shalom, and peace out.